Oh my gosh, a volcano is erupting! There's magma everywhere! It's not magma, it's lava! How is it lava? Because it's outside of the volcano! These are the remains of a neighborhood. And it was quite a large neighborhood. We're coming to you from our sky cam. A supervolcano is the most destructive force on this planet. Only a few exist in the world, and when they erupt, they do so with a force tens of thousands of times greater than other eruptions. They lie dormant for hundreds of thousands of years. The last eruption of a supervolcano was 75,000 years ago. It had 10,000 times the explosive force of Mount St. Helens and changed life on Earth forever. Global temperatures plummeted by 21 degrees. Supervolcanoes differ from normal volcanoes in many ways. The stereotypical volcano is a towering cone, but supervolcanoes form in depressions in the ground called calderas. When a normal volcano erupts, lava gradually builds up in the mountain before releasing it. In supervolcanoes, the magma is so viscous that volcanic gases that normally trigger an eruption cannot pass. So a massive amount of pressure begins to build up. This continues for hundreds of thousands of years until an eruption occurs, which blasts away a huge amount of ground, forming a new caldera. Not all supervolcanoes have been found, but one of the largest is in Yellowstone Park. Scientists searching for the caldera in the park could not see it because it was so huge. Only when satellite images were taken did the scale of the caldera become apparent. The whole park is one massive reservoir of magma. And now over to Grant. Hi, I'm Grant with Volcano Safety Tips. If you know a volcano is active, you should probably stay away from it. If you live near an active volcano, keep goggles and a mask and an emergency kit, along with a flashlight and working battery-operated radio. Hazards that can accompany volcanoes are mud flows and flash floods, landslides and rock falls, earthquakes, ash fall and acid rain, and tsunamis. During a volcano eruption, if caught indoors, close all windows, doors, and dampers, but all machinery inside a garage or barn. Bring animals and livestock into closed shelters. If trapped outdoors, seek shelter indoors. If caught in a rock fall, roll into a ball to protect your head. If caught near a stream, be aware of mud flows. Move upslope, especially if you hear the roar of a mud flow. Protect yourself during ash, ash fall. Wear long sleeve shirts and long pants. Use goggles to protect your eyes. Use a dust mask and hold, or hold a damp cloth to your face to help breathing. Keep a car engines off. If possible, stay away from volcano asphalt areas. If a volcano erupts, erupts in your area, before you leave the house, charge in, change into long sleeve shirts and long pants and use goggles or eyeglasses, not contacts. Wear an emergency mask or hold damp cloth over your face. If you are not, if you are not evacuating, close windows and doors and block chimney and all other vents to prevent ash from coming home. If you ever wondered if you could climb into a volcano and peer into the crater, then the answer is yes, it can be done. But the most important thing is to remember that volcanoes are not adventure playgrounds nor theme parks, as this is serious nature you are dealing with. There are many hazards along the way in which you will encounter on volcanoes whether they are active or not. Therefore, you cannot just climb a volcano, as it would be asking for trouble. So you will need to read information about the particular volcano you are thinking of going to and study its hazardous eruptive cycle. Also, it is also strongly recommended that you hire a guide as you will need to know where you are going considering you can easily get lost off track. So where were you when the volcano started to erupt? I was at my friend's house playing with the leaves. And how has this impacted your life or your friend's life or your family's life? My grandma was not home. Um, she was on a cruise and her pets were at the house. It's okay, it's very emotional. And they are not here. Where are they? They are not with us to this day. Where did they go? They kicked the bucket. What bucket? They died! They gonna die! Where were you?
you when the volcano started to erupt. I was in my house alone and I just let my dog out because he was scratching at that door and he had the wires so bad, so I just let him go. And how has this impacted your life or your family's life? Well, now I don't have a dog because he died too and my family was out at Walmart buying me Christmas ornaments. So none of them got hurt or anything. I kind of lost my foot though, so that was a problem. <laughs> it's not funny, oh my gosh. Anyways, so uh, yeah, now I kind of use my cane and that helps me. Okay, so how does it feel to be one of the few volcano survivors? Feels pretty good. I'm thinking about um, getting a lottery ticket. It's not very often that people survive volcanoes, so I must be pretty lucky. Okay.